Hello friends, uh, in this series of videos, uh, I am going to explain the uh, product cost uh, concepts and its configuration steps uh, in a step by step procedure. So you can see here the uh, pre request for uh, uh, product costing and uh, these are the master data that are required uh, before configuring the uh, product costing. So in this video, I am going to uh, cover the material master creation that is a raw material, semi-finished goods and uh, finished goods, uh, the necessary configurations for creating the material master. And uh, in my uh, next video, we will go on with the bill of material work center and all the uh, master data and then we will finally arrive, with the, uh, arrive at the uh, product costing. So. Uh, this is my uh, finished product and these two are my same finished uh, material and these are all the raw materials so i'm going to create all these uh, materials here so before creating the material the material type and its valuation class need to be configured so my finished material i have the uh, material type as uh, fbr uh, similarly for the raw material I have the material type as uh, BERR but uh, I am not having uh, uh, any semi finished material type here so we will first go on with the uh, semi finished material material type and its relevant uh, configurations then we create this material so we will first start with the semi finished material I just enter into the SAP So in the logistics general, so in the material master, in the basic settings, uh, we have the material type. So the standard material type for uh, semi finished material is uh, HALB. I'll just show you. So I just search my uh, standard uh, material type for uh, semi finished material so I just select this and I will make a copy of it uh, so I will re rename it as uh, PHAL that is a semi finished pro semi finished uh, for my company code and uh, in this You can see the account category reference this is of standard one so I need to change this so I just go to the new session to the navigation path we will change the account reference category so in this I just go to the materials management Uh, general okay it is it is in uh, valuation and account assignment to the account determination account determination without wizard and uh, define valuation control oh, it is not define valuation classes so in this we have a account category reference uh, that is uh, this this field in my material type so the account category reference we have uh, here as triple zero eight for uh, semi finished products so you can see that uh, I have created for uh, raw material and my finished product so let me create a new one with uh, with the uh, material type itself BHAL and this, so this shows a semi finished uh, account category reference for uh, my company code I just save this 
so I have created this account reference category here and we will change that here as B H A L and the price control is okay let it be a uh, standard price so in this uh, I just move to the next that is a valuation class uh, the valuation class need to be updated so I just want to make the valuation classes uh, the same uh, fields VH it can be either uh, numeric or uh, alpha numeric so I just save this I have created the valuation class and I have uh, linked with the uh, account reference category so let I just go back and uh, material type and account reference category will be uh, linked I just show you BHAL no BHAL no the entry is not here I just go back uh, in the uh, material type creation screen I just uh, click on enter we will save it so the number of dependent entries copied okay just save this I have copied from the standard one so this is my uh, newly created material type for a semi finished I just select this and uh, double click on quantity and value update where uh, my uh, I need to activate it for uh, my plant the quantity and value update need to be ticked here and uh, now in this I can see here BHAL okay you can see here the material type is linked with the uh, account reference category so once I've uh, created this material type uh, I, I will get this entry here so I've created now I can uh, update update it here that is my material type is BHAL and the evaluation class is also BHAL so in this way we have uh, we have created the uh, material type now and we have linked the evaluation class also now uh, it is this okay we can uh, create the uh, same finished material refill I, I will show you that I will leave the screen let's go to the uh, new session the material creation mm01 so I just go for any uh, industrial sector the material type is BHAL the same finished material and the select views so I just select the basic data the purchasing MRP details the work scheduling production general plant uh, mainly the accounting views and costing views then go on with the organization levels my plant and storage location have been updated so let me uh, name this material as a refill so the base unit of measure is uh, numbers so each the material group So I can uh, go with some components and uh, I have a division okay I'll just go for the next the purchasing group so in the MRP one uh, tab we have some uh, MRP group the MRP uh, type need to be updated let, let me go with the uh, PT the lot size let, uh, let, let it be the uh, uh, daily lot size and, uh, okay I just go for the MRP2 the MRP controller need to be updated which I have uh, previously uh, 
made these configurations so here the scheduling my scheduling uh, so I just keep these parameters here but the scheduled margin keys need to be updated not one the basic one the MRP3 uh, here uh, the availability check is important let me go for uh, uh, daily requirements so in all all my material I will go for uh, uh, the daily requirement in the availability check and uh, in the MRP4 there is no need for uh, configuration just go on with the work scheduling so I will skip for this now I just uh, the production resource the task list usage is important I just go for uh, routing or uh, we can use all task list types double zero nine I have uh, selected here so then uh, the plant you can see the plant and storage location and mainly the accounting in the accounting one view we will find the uh, valuation class here uh, which we have uh, uh, here we have uh, mentioned the valuation class which will be displayed here and the price control is standard price uh, so this division I have uh, configured the uh, sales also so I just go on with the division so this field is uh, uh, not necessary for uh, for you since I have uh, done the sales configuration too, I have uh, made this division. Just go to the next, the assign accounting to costing one. And uh, the origin group field is important. So we will we'll create a new origin group. So I, I just leave the screen, I just go to the uh, new session. Okay, we, will, we need to update the uh, material origin. So it is in controlling. Let's go to the controlling. In the product cost controlling. The product cost planning. Basic settings for uh, material costing. You can see the defined origin groups. Once I execute, so ask for my uh, controlling area. So just go for the uh, new entry. So I just update my finished product name here with the uh, with the sum origin group here. I just save this. So this is my origin group, and it is essential when we when we perform the cost component split. Uh, cost component structure that is here. Uh, cost component structure so on in that time we will discuss about the origin group so now I have created this and I will link it in my material you can find it double uh, zero one you can see here just you make use of it and the profit center quantity structure data okay I just leave this the costing to okay. I'll just save this material I have not made any uh, any any other changes in the costing to it will be updated automatically once we perform the uh, operations So you can see here the material 1786 has been created. We will update it here. The material number is 171786. So similarly in the same way I will uh, create this material also. But I will not go into show this. Uh, but we will go on with the raw material creation. Where I have already created the uh, material type, 
but uh, i need to create a, a new validation class uh, for this so so that i have uh, left it blank in this uh, area so we will create uh, the material ink with the uh, material type as brr which i have configured uh, after copying from the standard one that is uh, roh and uh, i have uh, updated the material type and, and the validation class is also brr but uh, i am not going to use that uh, validation class here i will create a new one and i will assign it to this material so i just show you how i am going to do that so here i just change the material type as brr since we are going to create the uh, new material new material that is a raw material here so in the quantity value updating okay in this i will show you what it is here it is a material type for uh, raw material i just show you here the account category reference is uh, brr uh, so i'm going to uh, make a new validation class for this account reference category so in the screen think i have closed that what i have done in the materials management inventory and uh, valuation and account assignment okay here uh, account determination account determination without wizard and the define okay, define valuation classes in the valuation class i am going to create a new valuation class for my uh, uh, account reference category b e r r so the Valuation class. I'm going to create it for us. R R E B. Okay, I've uh, defined a new valuation class. I'll just go to create a new mit a new material ink. So in this also we will select the necessary views. plant and store location so the material is ink let me go for the base unit of measure is ml we have some uh, some basic material group and uh, the division here you don't want to update any division here so if i if i not uh, provide this data i need to configure uh, some more configuration in st so that i i just go for this divisions uh, here the purchasing the purchasing group the mrp view Okay, the power is on. Continuing with the MRP parameters, the material type, and the lot size, daily lot size. Okay, the MRP controller, MRP group, the MRP two view. Okay, there is no need plant plant delivery time. So especially uh, we are going to purchase this raw material, uh, and then we will carry on with the uh, other uh, production processes. So the plant delivery time is one day. Click on Enter. The schedule margin key need to be updated. The MRP three view. Okay, the availability check that is daily requirement. Okay, MRP four work scheduling. 
task list usage all task list types and, uh, you can see the evaluation class is empty uh, because we have uh, two evaluation classes as of now one is PERR I just show you here this is the standard one we I have uh, previously used but now I'm going to do uh, with this valuation class RREB so, uh, so I just uh, update in this RREB is my valuation class for this uh, raw material okay then accounting to the, the price control is the moving price so I am not going to update the uh, moving price, it will be aut automatically updated from the uh, GR the accounting to view and the and the origin group is what I have created 001 the profit center and with this we will save this Okay, the material 20 and 1, 2, 3 has been created. So, in the similar way, I will uh, create the raw material and also the uh, finished material, and I will update it here. So, I will stop the video here. We will continue with the uh, bill of material in the next part. Thank you. So in the next video we will continue with the uh, bill of material. Thank you friends.